Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. Today we're at Motorcycle Live 2019. Yeah, we're having a look at scooters this time around. So having a little quick buzz around, have a look and see what's new and brand new for 2020. There's some good scooters here, so let's get into it. Now there might be the odd surprise here, so stay tuned and make sure to let us know your favorite pick in the comments section below. In at seven is the Honda SH125. The Honda SH is an extremely popular scooter since its launch in 2005. Pop to any big town or city and chances are you'd see loads buzzing around the urban traffic. The SH is definitely more of a commuter's friend than a standout looker, but with Honda's impressive reliability and economical performance, it's not really a surprise that the SH sells in such numbers. For 2020 though, the SH has had a bit of a freshen up with a restyle and performance and efficiency increases. Not the best looking scooter in my opinion, but definitely a dependable workhorse. The SH is a great start to this list, taking the number seven spot. Now the spec for the Honda SH125 for 2020 is a new Euro 5 liquid cooled four valve ESP plus engine, which has increased efficiency. It'll produce around 12.3 brake horsepower at 8,250 RPM. So basically from the previous version, that's an increase of 0.4 brake horsepower and at slightly lower revs too. The SH also has stop start fuel saving system, Honda selectable torque control, and an extra 10 liters of under seat storage thanks to a new tubular under bone frame. The price on this one is yet to be confirmed. In at six is the Vespa Racing 60s. Although there's no new releases from Italian Scooter Legends Vespa, there is a whole new series inspired by the 60s, aptly named the Racing 60s. The Racing 60s will be available on the Vespa Sprint for the 50cc, 125cc and 150cc versions. The Racing 60s will also be available on the GTS Super Models 2, which will cover the 125cc and 300cc versions. Colorway options will be red and white or green and yellow. Along the graphics, the Racing 60s will also include a brand new soft new buck seat and golden wheels for even extra nostalgia. As the Racing 60s is basically a new colorway options and not a new model, the Racing 60s just miss out on the top five of the list and finds itself in at number six. Now the details on the Racing 60 spec for 2020 are, it'll be exclusively available on the Sprint and GTS Super models. It'll come as red and white or green and yellow colorway options. They have golden wheels and all new soft new buck seat as well. The price will be dependent on the model and is yet to be confirmed. In at number five is the Super Soko CPX. Electric specialist Super Soko continue to push the electric scooter capabilities with the all new CPX. As you would expect with a new electric model, the CPX will see increased range and top speed, along with a quicker charge time. Weighing in at just 135 kilograms, the CPX remains relatively light and with an all new improved performance, these electric scooters really are closing the gap on combustion engine 125s. From the rumours we've heard, the price might well surprise you too, as it will cost from £3,599. As an electric model in a category still dominated by combustion engines, the CPX for me finds its way into fifth place. The spec includes a 4,000 watt motor producing 126 foot-pounds of torque, with an estimated top speed of 55 miles per hour. There'll be two 60 volt or 45 amp hour batteries which can be charged in three and a half hours. The range will be up to 85 miles on a full charge. There will also be a reverse function and the price for this will start from £3,599. In at number four is the Yamaha Tri-City 300. The all new Tri-City 300 has gone with a new and aggressive look which has really pushed it up in the looks department when compared to its older sibling, the Tri-City 125. The big news about this 300 version though, is that it can be ridden on a car license in the UK. 
the Tri-City will be powered by the economical 292cc blue core engine derived from the X-Max 300 and it will produce around 38.9 brake horsepower. When it comes to steering and suspension, the Tri-City will be using the same twin front wheel suspension system from the 125cc version. As a three-wheeler, many won't like its inclusion in this list and fair play, but with its new radical look and showing the same traits of a maxi scooter, the Tri-City for me had to be included. Though with a very tightly contested top three, the Tri-City finds itself at number four. The spec for the Yamaha Tri-City 300 is automatic tilt lock assist system, 267 millimeter front and rear discs, a 13 liter fuel tank, LCD instrument panel, large storage, that 292cc blue core motor. Now the price for this is yet to be confirmed. Now just before we get to the real serious business of the big hitters in at the top three, a quick mention here to Lexham Insurance who power Bike Matters. If you're in the UK and look at again insurance quote on a scooter or motorcycle, make sure to head on over to Lexham Insurance.co.uk for a low cost insurance quote. Their best deals are direct. Now let's go back to the top three for our list for 2020. In at number three is the Royal Alloy TG300. The all new Tegera Grande series from Royal Alloy has been teased for some time now and I think it's fair to say it really doesn't disappoint. I had seen photos from Eichmer but it's only when I saw the TG in person at Motorcycle Live that I really appreciated its beauty. Royal Alloy models have stuck to that gorgeous Lambretta styling of the old and their new flagship scooter the TG is no exception, though this is clearly designed more at Series 2 Lambrettas. Retro style scooters are big business in recent years and it seems Royal Alloy are willing to push development further and not just rely on the GT and GP series. The TG will get that long awaited 300cc engine which will please many I'm sure. I don't think it will be long until we see many TG 300s buzzing to scooter rallies in my opinion. Though it is worth mentioning the TG will also be available as a learner friendly 125cc. The TG looks like a fantastic scooter and for me, deciding its place in this list was really difficult, as on another day it could easily sit at number one. For now though, the TG sits proudly at number three in all its retro glory. Now the Royal Lloyd TG300 spec for 2020 is, it's gonna be predominantly steel bodied. You have cast aluminum headset and horn cast. You have the king and queen seat that you can find on the Royal Lloyd GP. You have a full color TFT speedometer and gem lights and the price on this one is yet to be confirmed. In at number two is the Italjet Dragster. Yes, that's right, the absolute scooter legend, which is the Italjet Dragster, will be returning its new radical styling to the UK. Fresh off Eichmo Milan, UK scooter importer MotoGB confirmed the deal by displaying the sporty liquid cool bad boy on their stand at Motorcycle Live 2019. We know there will be an initial 499 units created, but how many of these will hit the UK shores is not yet known. It's great to see a Tailjet keep performance at the heart of the Dragster design, with the liquid cool motors right on the limits. The 125cc especially is right on the cusp of legality by coming in just shy of that 125cc 15 brake horsepower limit, an incredible 14.9 horses. Not bad for a scooter. These sporty little beasts will come at a cost, but considering the spec, design, and likely rarity, I think that's to be expected. The figures for Europe have been confirmed at 5,000 euros for the 125cc version, and 5,500 euros for the 200cc version. So I think it's fair to say UK prices will be 5,000 pounds plus. The spec for the Tailjet Dragster for 2020 is, the 125cc version will produce 14.9 horsepower, and the 200cc version produces 19.8 brake horsepower. It has that awesome trellis frame, the bi-turbo suspension, Pirelli tyres and Brembo brake calibers. As I say, price is yet to be confirmed, but expect it to start around £5,000. And finally, in at number one is the Yamaha T-Max 560. Yes, the ever popular T-Max clinches the number one spot. The Yamaha T-Max is one of the kings of the maxi-scooter market and has been since its launch in 2001. 
roll on to 2020 and the newest and most powerful T-Max to date is set to be released. The new T-Max is going larger capacity this time with a new Euro 5 two-cylinder 560cc engine which produces 46.9 brake horsepower. The new top spec Tech Max version was also displayed at Motorcycle Live 2, so hopefully Yamaha might decide to release this in the UK as well. Back to the standard 560 though, and the spec is pretty impressive with 41mm upside down forks at the front, monotone TFT instrument panel, and Yamaha Smart Key. There are some big players in the Maxi scooter market like Suzuki, Honda, and Kimco. And with the T-Max 560, Yamaha are really pushing things on further to try and keep themselves towards the top of that tree. With how incredibly popular the T-Max is, and with these new improvements, the T-Max just edged ahead with the Royal Lloyd TG and the Tailjack Dragster to claim the number one spot on this list. The spec for the Yamaha T-Max 560 for 2020 is that 560cc Euro 5 engine producing 46.9 brake horsepower, that sporty new bodywork, the lightweight aluminium frame, traction control, two level D mode, monotone TFT instrument panel, 41 millimeter upside down front suspension, that awesome smart key technology. Now the price is yet to be confirmed. So there you go, that's our top seven best new scooters for 2020. Do you agree, do you disagree? Let us know your vote in the comments section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and give us a like. If you're not already subscribed to the Bike Matters YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.